My name is Dr. Lilian Mujica Parodi. I'm an assistant professor of biomedical engineering at uh, Stony Brook University. What I work on is really the intersection of theoretical physics and medicine. And specifically, I'm interested in treating the brain seriously as a circuit. Our lab is focused on exploiting the dynamics of brain circuits to better understand why people get sick in terms of neurological and psychiatric illness and in being able to predict stress resilience for high stress occupations such as special forces personnel. Every aspect of the work that we're conducting in our laboratory has a practical application and when I look out 10 years from now and think about what I really hope for as this work bears fruit, what I see is hopefully a cure for epilepsy. What I look at is being able to identify risk for paranoid schizophrenia and treat it before patients are even symptomatic. I think about identifying the ideal Navy SEAL before he even goes through basic training. And what I, what I really hope for is to make a difference that will affect not only you know, people in my community, but potentially the world. A lot of people don't realize that research costs money, that every discovery that's made was made with equipment that costs money, with students who cost money, with infrastructure that costs money. And so federal funding is actually a critical piece of our, the research and development for this country. By the time someone actually becomes productive, there's been a very long apprenticeship. And for that reason, if there are breaks in funding, it's not as if recovery is something that can occur very quickly. If you have a population of scientists that for whatever reason, economic or political, are not able to have the resources necessary to train the next generation, even for five years, the impact of that lack of individuals who are trained to do innovative research will be felt for decades to come. And so for that reason, the best strategy for maintaining our dominance within the world really has to involve a strong effort at consistent funding that is forward thinking, not in terms of the problems that we're dealing with at the moment, but the problems that we might have to deal with for the future. It's critical to invest in science now because science doesn't pay off always in the short term. 